Hello and welcome to Mofo RC Garage. Today we are running the new Nano Beast. Well, it's not that new. I guess it's a couple months old. The Nano Beast 1209 motor, as well as let me grab one. One of these, a Furitech Lizard Pro. Uh, this is a completely stock. Jeep, or whatever people call it, JLU, I don't know, I'm not sure what all they call it. Completely stock, minus the fact that I stuck a Nano Beast motor and transmission uh, gear train in it, uh, and I put in the Lizard Pro. I also made this convenient little box for it. This is running the Avatar from Furitech, their own little fancy remote. Uh, it actually works pretty good so far. Looks a whole lot suspiciously like the FMS remote for an atlas it's got the same little thing here I think maybe even the uh, what's the other one called uh, I just had a brain fart uh, someone will mention it there's another little 24th scale ish crawler that looks kind of like that with the remote it separates in two halves when you push that button type of thing but anyways this one's a little different because it does have a whole bunch of little options you can scroll through here in the screen somehow I haven't really played with it that much. I've adjusted the trim. Oh my gosh, I don't want to turn it off. Oh, I just turned it off. Dag nab it. Uh, probably takes a little bit of getting used to to figure out how to use the whole thing. I literally just pulled this out of the box, stuck that motor in here. I designed this little box this morning. It is Christmas morning. Merry Christmas, everybody. Designed this little box for it. The Furitech Avatar. ESC and, or FearTech Avis Avatar receiver and the Lizard Pro ESC are both jumbled into this little box as well as the Bluetooth module for the FearTech Lizard Pro that is in there as well. Um, I have not connected the lights to it yet so there's no headlights on here but uh, basically you just plug them in right here in the side of this box Whoa, where the rest of these little wires are sticking out here. You got your uh, battery wire coming out the back as well as your motor plug there's a hole there to plug both of those in on the front here it's kind of hard to get to but there's the on off switch the battery wire would normally come out of this side but I just ran it through the box out the other end so you can plug the battery in in the back I am running this on uh, you can't see that either let me grab one a mofo RC 3s 450 milliamp battery uh, disclaimer when I first installed this with the 3S battery and the straight out of the box uh, Lizard Pro ESC, which is rated for 3S, it did not work correctly. I had to um, I had to update the firmware to the latest version, which was 1.7. I believe it had 1.2 or 1.4 on it when I got it. And when you'd hit the gas in 3S, it'd kind of go weeb, 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 and kind of stutter and wouldn't work right with 3S. It seemed to work okay on 2S, but I changed it over to 3S. I have not touched any of the other settings on the ESC. I haven't tuned it at all. I haven't done anything other than just uh, connect it. I connected it to this thing. I didn't have to bind it. It already came pre-bound. I set the trim, and let's see how slow it will go on 3S. Oop, there's a little bit of a bumble there. There we go. It will go incredibly slow, just like it will on 2S. You can sit and watch your little motor turn, and you can adjust that to go even slower. I have not touched any of the settings in there yet. So this is all just uh, basically if you were to factory reset with the updated firmware. There we go. There's a, the lightest I can pull the trigger right there without adjusting any of the throttle curves. Uh, everything else is stock. And you have 3S power. So let's put the little thingy in here and give it a little drive. I'll try to drive as best I can with my left hand while I hold with my right hand. We'll just see how fast we can go with it. 3S, pretty quick. The Nano Beast motor isn't particularly known to be very fast. It is a 2500 kilovolt or KV motor so it's not super fast 
but as you can see with 3S, it does pick up the speed pretty well. Let's try a backflip, see if we can do a backflip on my janky little homemade ramp here. Just kind of line it up first. And then we'll just hit it. Right there. Nope, we did a side flip. Some of my other motors, you've seen uh, maybe a video or two with the buzzsaw motor doing some backflips on that thing. But uh, this is designed to be a crawler motor, not a high speed motor. It is very precise. It can go extremely so slow, as I've shown you a second ago. And you know, right now it's actually moving. You can't really even tell in the video, but it is in fact moving right now. So you can go as slow as you want. And with 3S, it's actually pretty quick. It's, um, if I had to guess, I'd say a little faster than a stock SCX24 would be. And tons more power. Maybe just enough wheel speed might be about the perfect speed on 3S. Now, another disclaimer, I don't know how long this motor is good for on 3S. Um, we haven't been playing with it very long. Let me see if I can touch the motor and see how hot this sucker is. Yeah, it's pretty hot. I can hold my finger on it for about three or four seconds, so it's pretty hot. Um, they will get, these little motors are known to run pretty hot. So, you know, uh, it'll be kind of a time will tell type of thing as far as how long it will last on 3S, as well as the gear train. Now I do have some nylon gears being manufactured right now to make this quieter. Because as you can tell, it is a little bit noisy with two brass gears in there rubbing together. So when those nylon gears get here, that should quiet that down a little bit. It's just gonna be basically, it'll still have the brass gear on the motor, but it's gonna have a nylon transfer gear to the nylon spur gear. So. It should keep the brass gears from wearing out as fast because right now it's two brass gears rubbing together very fast um, and they do wear out. So hopefully the nylon gears will keep them from wearing out plus it's going to make it a lot quieter. Uh, this Jeep looks really good. I really dig this yellow Jeep. Um, I'll probably end up sticking some new wheels and tires on this thing next. Maybe a set of uh, the UPWs with maybe some black rings. I think that would look pretty good on here. And uh, all this stuff can be found on the website. I think I'm pretty much out of these little motors right now, though. Uh, next batch hopefully be here in the next uh, week, maybe two weeks. I'll have the next batch of motors. They will be a little bit different. They're going to be just a little bit bigger, a little bit more power. Uh, I th if I remember correctly, they're going to be a 2700 kV instead of a 2500 kV. Don't quote me on that yet, but I'm pretty sure I upped them up just a little bit as well. Uh, to give it a little bit more speed since they're going to have a little bit more motor behind it. So I appreciate everybody watching. Um, again, this is just a little box I whipped up. I'll probably put that up on the website as well for anybody interested in using a little box like that. I do not currently have these Avatar receivers and remotes, but uh, this one I had them send me just to try it out, and uh, I actually really like it. So especially with that all-in-one box like that. You know, all of your electronics contained right there. You don't have the standard. This came out of this thing. You don't have to have this here and that there. You know, this you don't need anymore when you run that little avatar yes, or uh, receiver. So that'll be real nice, cleaning up electronics like that. And uh, the Nano Beast does run on 3S. As far as how long, we're just going to have to find out and see. So I know there's been a few people running them on 3S already, and uh, I haven't heard anything terrible yet, so uh, we'll just cross our fingers and hope for the best. Appreciate everybody watching, Merry Christmas everybody, and I love you.